Hello, it's Jimmy again here at O'Reilly's Autos and today we're coming to look at two Citroen relays or one is a Peugeot Partner and one is a Citroen relay. They've both just had a service and after the service both the diesel fuel filters are leaking on each model so we're going to have a look and see if we can figure out what's going on. So we're going to go inside, open the bonnet. It's inside the passenger side of the van here. Open and have a look at what's going on over here. So the filters are, the housings are leaking. Both vans have been serviced a couple of days ago, and the housings are leaking on both, and it's causing the vans to struggle to start intermittently. Okay, so to get into this area, it looks like we're going to have to remove. The headlight, well we don't we don't have to but it's gonna make it a little bit easier. Uh remove this air duct here for the inlet of the air. Should be a couple of bolts on these, but obviously they're missing. And there is a couple of bolts down the back. Some of them are missing also. I think we need to get this little panel off here too. So a couple of screws under here. Get these off. panel out and that gives us access to some bolts that are inside just in there again some of them are missing just down here and we've got some more over there we can get a deep 10 on an extension get it in there get these out Here. Now this should come out. Got a bit of better access to the to the actual filter there now. Over here we've got another couple of screws, Phillips head screws, get these open, the screws are out, we can lift it off, and we've got a 10mm bolt here. Now on the bottom section of the light we've got another screw, and again remove that, it should allow us to Come along and clip this off. It's just on clips on this side. Now that leaves you access to two 10 millimeter bolts again. Now we can take a step back and we should be able to just yank that out. to the bolts of the housing. We we'll take the whole housing out and have a look and there's a bolt missing on that too. Uh, these few lines on these, you've got to grab this grey bit, pull it away from the fuel line and then pull the fuel line towards you at the same time. You've got to push that away from the fuel line, pull this out, and, go. and the same on the top, pull it away and pull it at the same time. It's out. It's both of those disconnected. 13 millimeter bolt here. Get the 
hosing out. Disconnect the plug. And we'll take this in our van and have a look at it. So we've got the filter here clamped on our vice in the back of our van and we're going to get it open. There's plastic tread on this and it's just it's making a, a lot of noise to open. It's like it's a like the tread is very feels very dry or something. And very stiff to open. Just lots of light in there, I have to turn it back on. Get this uh, top off. Have a look. I'm not too sure if you can see too well there, but it looks like it's fairly well sealed. Zoom in. It's got a decent seal on there. compressing. I think it may be a problem with this lid. There's a lot of grit. I can see there's a lot of grit inside the uh, tread all the way around here so we're gonna clean that out and clean the top of here. Maybe put a little bit of grease around this tread, actually. Uh, I've got a feeling it's, uh, it's just gripping up. There's like a lot of grit inside. It's getting tight before it's actually closing down to seal it. Now we've got some brake cleaner. Just going to spray around the tread. And the ring here. Get all that cleaned out. What I'm going to do, as the filter is sealed inside the unit, the tread is outside the housing and the ring is outside the housing. We're going to paint some grease in the thread here, all the way around. And we're going to try that, put it on, and we should know straight away uh, because when the vehicle was running, we could see like trickles of diesel running down the filter housing. So. We should know straight away if this has fixed a problem. I'm gonna get a get a bit of grease in there, and we'll get some more on the hose in there. Just get some dip this brush back in. Get all this on here. Here. Uh, it seems together. It seemed like it was all sort of dry, dry and uh, dusty, and just sort of crunching together, not getting a good seal as it should. So we'll try that with a bit of grease. Hopefully, this feels better now. Yeah, it's a lot smoother as we're turning it down. You can hear the crunching and grinding as I was trying to get it off. Like a lot of sand inside the thread. This should allow us to actually tighten it up. Uh, we've had a look through our toolkits down here and we've got this uh, laser 5843 kit and what this does is it just helps you put the lid back on in an even distribution like so it puts the full 
the full force all the way around the uh, top of the filter housing and this we can put in our vise which holds the bottom end of the filter what can happen with these plastic filters is if you're using like a fuel pliers or big pliers for opening oil filters or whatever so what most people are going to use is you grabbing it from both ends and it can distort so say you're grabbing it like this you know it distorts the plastic and then it doesn't make a good seal so we're going to use this to uh, put it back together we get this into our vise slot that in place there just lock it in and we can get the filter housing and slide her in fits in place there so there she's inside our fuel filter removal tool uh, now we can get this put it on the top it just fits over the top there this will help us get a better seal as we're closing it Closes up to, to about 30 newton meters, but uh, if it's leaking, I'd go a little bit extra on it. And now we can get it back in the van. I'll just show you a little bit of a close up there. You can see the little indents inside the filter tool here, and they slot down over these to go all the way around. So once you fit it on, it fits nice and snug, and it just gives you an even pressure all the way around rather than squeezing if you squeeze it from both sides you know it distorts the plastic which a minor amount can cause a leak like that and hopefully this will be all sorted if it doesn't be sorted it's going to need a new filter housing if it's it's hard to see by eye if it's actually distorted beyond beyond uh, you know repair or whatever you'd call it but uh, we'll get this fitted and uh, see how it goes. Should be all okay, I should say. And then see how it goes. Filter back in. Connect our fuel lines. One and two. Bolt back on. We'll get the headlight back in. bolts back in so the bolts are back in we'll get all these plastic trims back on now the trims are back on we can get the air intake back in those just in back in that place there and that's the air intake back in place now we'll have a look at this uh, filter see a little bit of it's mostly dry but there's a little bit of damp patches here and there so we're going to just break clean it up and give it a wipe down with some rags just so we know it's all nice, clean and dry before we run the vehicle uh, then we'll know if it's got any leaks because it will turn damp again and you'll see the sort of wet diesel that was trickling down it before so now the brake cleaner is uh, evaporated and we'll start the van, let it run for 10-20 minutes and we'll check the progress
that all looks fine so far but we're going to let it run for another while and see how it goes and then if all is good we can move on to the next vehicle over here the flatbed and this one has got the same problem with the fuel filter over here and we can get that sorted as well and we'll wait for maybe 10 20 minutes to get the temperature up and recheck the van again and we've got the temperature up as far as it's going to go there Switch the car off. Let's have a look in there. Yep. It's all nice and dry. So, quite happy with that, that that's fixed that problem. That's a problem all sorted on that one. So, uh, we did have a, a little look online before I made this video. Uh, a lot of people asking questions about the same issue. Uh, but I didn't see anyone with a resolution for it so hopefully this will help quite a few people uh, so now we're going to move on to the next one which is going to be the same procedure again on this uh, this other other model uh, but we'll skip that one and uh, see you on the next video and that saved a trip to the dealership to look for a replacement filter housing which is going to be quite expensive so see you next time